Do the scientists really know? Will it really happen today? It's supposed to. What time? At 12.15 sharp, give or take a few seconds. I wonder what it's gonna be like. Probably like the last time, stupid. Oh. What was it like last time? How am I supposed to know? I was just a kid. I'm a little scared. Me too. So am I. What are you all so scared about? Nothing happened to us last time, right? We're still here, right? What do you think you're doing? Can you hear it? It's letting up. Listen. No, it's not. Besides, Mrs. Callahan put me in charge. She told me to make sure everyone goes under the lamps, and that includes you. But the sun's coming out today. So what? So we don't need them. Yes, we do. We always need them. Well, not when we have the sun. Don't you know what the sun does? Yes, I know what the sun does. But that doesn't mean that you don't have to go under the lamps just like everybody else. You think you're special just because you're born on Earth? What is it, William? What is it that can't wait till I get to class? Marco won't go under the lamps. Well, why not, Margo? Mrs. Callahan, today I want to wait for the real sun. I want to talk to you for a moment, Margo. Will the rest of you get ready for class? We've got a lot to do before the big event. Alone, William. I can't believe it's really going to happen. Margo, I know how much you've been looking forward to this, but... Don't let your hopes get too high. You know, sometimes nature can be fickle. It's been nine years since the sun paid its last visit. And then it was only for an hour. Well, I don't care if it's only for a minute. I understand how you feel. But you still must go under the lamps. Do I have to? Yes. I insist. There you go, just like the real sun. No, it's not. How do you know? Because I remember. No, you don't. Nobody remembers. I do.
Margo, why are you hiding that? It's beautiful. I don't know. It's not exactly the way I wanted it to be. Mrs. Cal Class, I want you all to look at this. Margo, tell everyone about your painting. Well, I tried to make it how it looked when I lived on Earth in Ohio. There was sun all the time. I can still see it, but I just can't paint it right. How lucky you are to have lived on Earth long enough to remember the sun so vividly. Now we have to keep our fingers crossed for the rain to stop and for our sun to shine on our planet so that we have lovely memories, too. Just like the Earth, we're the only planet that can sustain life in our solar system because our sun is close enough to keep us warm. Hmm. Paula? Um, our sun is mostly made of hydrogen and helium. And the center of it rises to 20,000 degrees. And again, Paula, count your zeros. Oh, 20 million degrees. No, I don't think so, Paula. According to my calculations, it's exactly 20,301,000 degrees. Paula, what would we do without Michael? William? William, it's your turn. What? We were talking about the sun. Oh, yeah. Uh, th the sun is made of two gases. One is... Hydrogen? Never mind. Margo? Hey, I'm not done. William, you know you're supposed to contribute something new about the sun and not repeat what has already been said. Now, please pay attention. Margo? The, the sun is like a flower that blooms for just one hour and fills our worlds with light and leaves us feeling bright. Oh, that's lovely, Margo. Did you write it? Yeah, it's a poem. It's just lovely. gonna stop. Matter of fact, it looks to me like it's coming down even harder. Right, Michael? Oh, yes. Precisely 1.5 times harder than it was an hour ago. But we still have almost two hours. Yeah. Well, I say it's not gonna stop. I say the sun's not gonna come out at all. William? Why do you hate me so much? Why? Because you're such a know-it-all. Oh, you may have Mrs. Callahan fooled, but you don't have me fooled for one second. You've never seen the sun. You've never, ever seen it. Still think it's going to stop? still have a little time left. All right, children. I want you to pay attention. This is very important. Open up your sun kits and take out this green visor. And I want you to wear this visor at all times. Now, put it on your heads. Come on. Very good. Now, do you all have this green tube in your kit? This cream will protect our skin from the harmful rays of the sun. William. Would you please put on your... Thank you. All right, now take the top off of the tube. 
Apply it generously to the palm of your hand. Rub it in. Everyone doing that? Put it on your face. Miss Callahan? Your neck? Miss Callahan! What is it, William? I hate to say this, but I don't think we're going to be needing any of this junk. That may be true, William. But if the sun comes out... What do you mean, if? Don't you believe it's going to happen? Don't you? No, she doesn't. Well, I don't care what anybody thinks. Well, Marco, I... Big shot. I guess the uh, scientists were wrong this time. Well, what do we do now? I don't know. I... I hadn't planned any other activities. a flower. My mom used to grow hundreds of them in our backyard. Margo, what's it like when the sun comes out? Well, the clouds separate, and there's music from the birds and crickets, and you feel like running and spinning till you're dizzy, and it's hard to catch your breath. It is? Because you're so happy. Uh -huh. Margo, do you ever wish you could go back? Sometimes, but not now. I wish I could have seen it the way it used to be. It's too crowded there now. Can you hear it? What? Listen. I don't hear anything. Listen. The rain. The rain's stopping. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. The sun's really going to come out. Aren't you excited? Well, isn't anybody excited? Where's Mrs. Callahan? Around. She went looking for you. I'll go find her. Oh, my son came. <laughs> Nothing more. William! William! Let me out! 
It stopped. It really stopped. They were right. to go outside without me.
joke. I meant it to be a joke. Michael, tell her. Go ahead, tell her. Michael, it was a joke. Where is she? You saw the sun.